Hello everyone, we are back. Uh, first the first uh, part we give a little uh, overview about the project itself and in this section we are gonna dive into the code, right? I think that's the most interesting part. Um, let me open my ID and um, everything starts in the index uh, JS. So, and um, the first thing that we do it is load the chart to be displaying there uh, the loss, and then we instantiate our means data uh, class, which is responsible for download uh, our images to be trained. So, and we can see here after uh, clicking in the button to start the training, we are gonna the first thing thing is to load the image and this uh, is pretty interesting how things are done here um, so I'm gonna go through quickly uh, the something that's happening here just to to help you to understand when you are evaluating the code it by yourself okay um, so every, most of the things happens um, inside this promise and on that will be triggered on load that will be listening on load of the uh, the images and as I mentioned last time, uh, the image is a single sprite image with all the um, the digits here, and you need to download this sprite and breaking down this uh, sprite uh, into individual images. Um, just let's see how that's done. Um, we you can note that we use Canvas here as part of the process, and you're gonna have a quick look on how things happen. So. Um, we are first initiating an array bu buffer where you're gonna keep all the byte images on this single uh, array, all right? And then you can see here that um, then we will start to loop over um, the, the dataset elements and this will be done into chunks and these chunks it's basically image channel. Uh, size because you're gonna use this uh, data uh, byte to draw the image on the canvas first and then when you have it in the canvas you use this method to get image data and then to have the uh, data in a different format where we can easily just loop over and build our final uh, array of bat and this final array, it's what we are gonna be using in our training. Um, and you can see here, we wrap this into a float32 array, uh, just to make it uh, more efficient. And uh, I think to have a better understanding what's happening here, I will go back to one of the lesson of my course about um, uh, convolution and let's just look at this uh, lesson here or, and where we have this image which shows a little bit how we manage images uh, how, how you process images right so uh, image most of the time you will be in two dimension array so where you have the X and Y and um, in the in the image and we can see the pixel value for that image on a given uh, pixel place um, but um, we when you are working with colorful images we have a third dimension where we're gonna have the the pixel value in different dimension for each um, color RGB color and uh, it's not showing here but we might even have one extra um, uh, dimension with the alpha of things that's uh, basically why we have four uh, image size here uh, this we have used four in the RGB A which is the alpha the A and that's is so what is required when you are using the uh, draw image uh, in the um, canvas okay um, so but um, we are in our training we are going to work with only one dimension array and basically let's take it for example this uh, image here so it'll be the, the it's the normal visualization would be x and y of um of a posi pixel position so but we are gonna flat this 
this two dimension array into one uh, dimensional array. So you're gonna have uh, the big big array with uh, pixels uh, values uh, in one single dimension. And um, you're gonna see a little bit more about. And in our case here, because you are working with this sprite, you're gonna have one single dimension array with all images in the same array and in some point you will have to break it down in uh, this single dimension array in multiple arrays per image um, i think worth to to show it now here uh what uh, i think it's flat, flat yeah so basically you have our image here and we in one single so here in one single uh, array we have all the images. So what we do, we go and take the image size and break that uh, single array into multiple array using JavaScript slice and creating our single um, image and add into a, a new array. The same way you would do for labels uh, because label is also one single array, uh, so one single dimension array with all the labels. Uh, hot encoded labels. Um, so, just a recap. So we have usually we work with the two-dimensional array to represent the image. In our case here, for uh, a simplicity and to facilitate the training, we uh, flat this two-dimensional array into one single array and keep all the the pixel image in one single array. Okay. So that is, um, I think, covers um, how things it's uh, loaded, how you manage the data itself. And so then, I think some that are worth to mention as well that we break down our big array into training and test because the, we need to use some image to train. And when you evaluate the occurrence of our um, model, we use different images. Uh, to avoid overfitting and be more trustable uh, accurate. Um, so yeah, that's it on around the data. Um, let's keep moving and uh, then I, I'm gonna stop this video and the next uh, video I'm gonna see the, the rest of the elements, the components of this uh, model.